And since there are no antenna lines in sight, a plastic build is more likely. So I'm a little confused by this because I thought the entire point of the Pixel 5 was to give a phone with better build quality, better materials. If the Pixel 5 is going to have, <laughs> if the Pixel 5 is going to, is going to be a plastic body and the Pixel 4 A 5G is also going to be a plastic body. I'm I'm going to have a really hard time understanding where that differentiation is between the 4 A 5G and the 5. I I'm I'm starting to lose faith in what the Pixel 5 is going to be if they're not even going to be improving the build materials. I'm still really perplexed at the fact that the Pixel 5 isn't even going to include a telephoto lens. Is it the most important thing in the world? No, it isn't. But it would have been nice if they added it in there. You're going to give us the ultra wide, the main shooter, and this time you're going to you're not going to include the telephoto. I just feel like Google isn't listening to what people are looking for. Yeah, do we use the ultra wide a lot? No. Do we lose do we use the telephoto lens? Do we use the telephoto lens a lot? No, but it's nice to have it. It's nice to have it when we need it. So to see them omit that, to see a plastic build, it just feels like a cannibalization for the 4A 5G and what the Pixel 5 is going to be. I, my hope is this is not anywhere close to what the to what the Pixel 5 is going to be. Because I'm looking for metal and glass here. I'm not looking for another plastic build. So this is this is the one thing that I read about what the 5S could be, which is annoying for me. The thing we read about before was that the Pixel 5 was going to have all of the 5G components in there. The 4A 5G as well. It was going to have sub 6 gigahertz. It was going to have uh, mid-band 2.5, and it was going to have millimeter wave. It was going to be all packed in one. There wasn't going to be any differentiation. There wasn't going to be any like exclusive carrier, but we all know that Verizon is doing their millimeter wave, whatever it is. Does that mean it's going to be, does it mean it's going to be a Verizon exclusive? Why can't we just have one unlocked phone that has all the bands in there? And then we call it a day. None of this what should I buy? Which is the right one? Is it going to work for my phone or my carrier? That's that's the thing that kind of bothers me. Is it going to change the price? Is it going to change the way the cases are going to be made? Which is something that Verizon has done with the OnePlus 8. The OnePlus 8 had different, or the OnePlus 8 Pro. No, the OnePlus 8, right? It was capable or it's capable of millimeter wave, but because the antennas are different or the lineup is different, the cases don't even work for it. That's what I don't want. I don't want to see confusion in the phone because it's already, with us not knowing, with a Pixel 5, 5S, if there's going to be a 5XL, a Pixel 4a 5G, it's it's already it's already making it very confusing. Deepak says Google is a software company. They love improving their software on the same old sensor. In fact, Apple uh, surpassed Pixel in low light photography because that old sensor has reached its limit could not agree more. Deepak and I, we see on the same level here. I think Deepak has been preaching it as much as I have, as far as the camera quality on the pixels. Are they great? Yes. But have ha, ha, is it still at the top of the mountain? Is it still on the mountaintop? That's what I meant to say. No, it's not. It isn't. It really isn't. And when, when, when are they going to take that crown back? Is it going to be for the Pixel 5? I, I I don't I don't want to say it is because I'm I don't want to be disappointed. I don't. Who knows what Google does? Why does Google only sell their Pixel phones to like eight countries, nine countries? Why does Google make Hangouts and then Google Meet and then Allo and Duo and a bunch of other shit? And why not just put everything under one platform? Who knows? Because Google, like that that's that's the thing about Google. We don't know about why they do what they do. That's that's the annoying part. That's the frustrating part. And so we all sit here. I've been I've been doing it for years, for years, ever since my Galaxy Nexus, and and saying, well, next year, next year their phone's going to be so and so. Oh, next year is going to be so and so. Oh, they're changing their name to Pixel. That's because they're going to go like mass market now. They're going to sell to everybody, and they're going to fix everything. Oh, well, Pixel Pixel two, because you know Pixel was just the first year, so the two is going to be better. <laughs> The three, the four, 
There's always something. Pratyush says video is very scarce. I don't agree with that. I don't. Yeah, people use photos more, but a lot of people use video. And why shouldn't why shouldn't video be a priority? Why shouldn't the video on my Pixel 4 not be as good as an iPhone 11 Pro? Why? Why? Like there, that's not an excuse. Saying it's very scarce is not an excuse. That is not an excuse to have quality, video quality, video stabilization that's not as good as the iPhone 11 Pro. I paid $800 for this phone, $800. You can't tell me that they can't have video that's gonna be as good as the iPhone 11 Pro. Like that, that's not, that's not, that's not an excuse that, that sits well with me at all. Uh, rant, yeah, that's me ranting.